After two months of training and living with a Zambian family, I was sworn in as a rural education development service, volunteer. You are no doubt filled with a combination of both anxiety and enthusiasm. You're going to change over the next two years. You'll return to America as a different person. The unique experience of living and working in another culture, forming friendships with people you would never otherwise have an opportunity to meet, it will transform your lives. Embrace this opportunity, but keep in mind that being a volunteer is a tough job. So be patient and gentle with yourselves. And remember, it is just as important to share who you are as it is to share what you know. I was placed in the rural village of Mplembe, 140 kilometers from the nearest town. David Livingstone dropped dead from malaria, 30 kilometers from my doorstep. Let me take you to my house now. For two years, I lived as my fellow villagers did, in a mud and thatch hut without electricity or running water. I'm still convinced it was the most beautiful house in the world. Things that are generally done inside in the United States are done outside in Zambia. Yeah, even that. My morning started out with making a fire for breakfast. And my days ended with making a fire for dinner. When doing things by hand, everything takes much longer. A good part of each day was dedicated to maintaining myself, my house, and my water supply. And of course, sometimes I had a little help. One way or another. In fact, I even had my own recycling pickup service. Which chores I didn't know how to do, I soon learned.
but there are some things I'll never be quite as good at. Like picking up hot coals with my bare hands. The Zambians are a strong people. Come <laughs> on.